Martin's Test Shaves, 15th of August. It happens to be a Thursday. Um, I badly need a shave. I thought, as today's a special day, because I've just received a package from Mr. Madamba, who is now in Florida. Thank you, Jack. I've got a great big Livy. This is the beast that arrived. This is a good 8-8 Maestro Livi. It has the signature on the tang, but more importantly, I noted it has Lynn Abrams. This is obviously commissioned by Lynn to be made over in Italy by Maestro Livi. It's ended up probably in several hands, but it's ended up with me now. I've never been over enthused about the Maestro Livy blades. Usually they are the RWL 340 stainless steel, but I love the unusual, sort of rather iconic construction. All wood, olive wood, signed on the wood with the Maestro Livy signature burnt into the wood. Anyway, it came from uh, from Jack, thank you very much, um, with his edge. However, I tried my usual stropping method, so light stropping, because he, he puts very good edges on, Jaina edges on. He still wouldn't quite do both ways, both lengths of a hanging hair test. Here's the rather nice box it comes in. This one's got a, a little signature like a miniature razor scale stuck on the end of olive wood to show that this one is an olive wood model. Anyway, all to the point, because I wasn't entirely happy with this performance, I use a little of the Maestro Livy, which is my own, stropping paste, green, um, on the special Maestro Livy loom travel strop and do you know what it was rubbish yes complete rubbish wouldn't actually sharpen properly i think possibly because you only get a short stroke on the length of this loom strop and the, the very fine yellow on the back short stroke again so what i did was as a sensible compromise i reached for my very trustworthy canvas and I put about 20-30 laps on the crocs, the nice green crops and sure enough followed by a little bit very light stropping on the canvas on the back because it's quite coarse canvas and about 40 laps on my best canny armour and uh, lo and behold it now does actually cut the hanging hair test both directions of the hair. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and get on with the shave. I just thought I like to be thorough in testing steel because that's what I do. Martin shave tests. Anyway, I'm going to use today as the lava. I'm going back to using the maca root from the body shop. Maca root and aloe, as in aloe vera, because it's very kind. It's a very um, strange very very soft soap or if you want to call it a soap i don't actually think it qualifies as soap i think it's a cream but anyway this is going on it's got a very nice floral aroma as you guys that follow my channel know i'm no expert i don't particularly go into brushes i don't particularly go for strange aromas however I've got a horrible amount of stubble, which is the result of clean living and probably getting older. Anyway, I'm not going to lather up everywhere because I want to keep the tash for the time being. I have delusions of one day being a cavalier or a, perhaps a, a magnum PI. Anyway, it'll go one day. But for the time being, that'll do. Nice, nice lather, very, very kind. So that's going back down there. I shall now resort 
to a shave. See what this channel is all about. Now I've got in total, uh, now this is my third Maestro Livy. I have two smaller ones, a, a travel strop, travel strop, a travel kit, which includes a miniature version of that lube strop. One of their standard sort of five eighthy type size blades, which I wasn't particularly impressed with. Now this is what I've always wanted to try. Of course, this is an 8.8, and I do like big razors. So, here we go. Let's see what happens. Well, it's cutting nicely. Not particularly exceptionally. But then there's an awful lot of stubble. And this is a stainless steel blade, I believe. Yep, yeah, it's good. A little bit of resistance due to the fact there's an awful lot of stuff. Was it, I don't know, three days? Yeah, I've been very busy. Getting up to mischief. I heard some wonderful razors come in. Listen to that. Really, really good razors. I'm spoiled. Yes, I traded with uh, Mr. Madamba. This is the best way. Anyway, can't say I'm overwhelmed, particularly as I put quite a lot of effort. Uh, quite a lot of effort into uh, stropping and refining this edge. Um, carbon steel is still to my mind better. Anyway. It's not bad at all. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just for a renowned custom maker. One of the very first, I think he was the first custom maker. This Maestro Livy is adequate. But there again, I'm spoiled. I'm used to some very good steel. I'd shave with this quite happily if I didn't know there were probably better edges to be had. I was chewing away. Yep. Yeah. First pass done, because I'm leaving the rest, <laughs> leaving the strange face fungus for now. Yeah, first pass, okay. Against the grain, second pass, and a little bit of a touch up and see how it copes. I'd say almost any steel, when uh, stropped properly, will give you a reasonable good shave. How long the edge would last on this Maestro Livy, I really don't know. I'd like to find out. So I'm not going to strop it for a very long time. I'm going to actually leave it as it is and see how long it, it lasts. Um, drying your fingers. I've got to say it holds beautifully. It's a big razor but it isn't a heavy razor it's got a very nice broad spine to it squared spine very nice coarse jimping nothing wrong with that obviously the scales are very light they're wood and they're all made from one piece of wood which is very very clever yeah it's good yes i'd say against the grain great success yeah, that's cutting effortlessly because I've already taken a lot of the stubble off. Duh. Yeah. So. Hmm. Yeah, I'm modestly impressed. I would say perhaps I've been 
a little cruel in as much as the first pass on very heavy stubble. Blowing a gale outside. You never get two days the same in England. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed with this actually. Yeah, good. Second pass. Nice. Should go for a third pass, call it a day. You've seen enough of my strange features recently, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, second pass is the success. It obviously was having a slight struggle on whatever three, four days of stubble. But once that first initial pass was done, gentle as a baby. Very, very nice. Yep. I wanted to test Nicholas's wonderful age, but uh, I thought, no, I'll give it a, a stropping. It didn't quite pass the hanging hair as I like it. But I'm for finicky. See, moustache is still there, sort of. Yeah. Very nice razor. But obviously something about the grind wasn't very happy with the first pass. It's a deep hollow ground blade, but very deeply hollow ground. Maybe it was flexing a little bit more. I think I'd be right in saying, I'm sure others will say I'm not, but I think I'm right in saying that a wedge or a quarter hollow or very heavy stubble, there's no resistance at all. I think this, because it is such a, a deeply hollow ground blade, I think it was actually flexing. And I read that wrongly as being resisting. No, we don't take resistance, no, no, no. So anyway, yeah, um, the finish on this particular blade isn't very good. Maestro Livy, uh, although he turned himself a maestro, you can quite clearly see his polishing technique wasn't that good. There are some quite deep scratches left in the blade because he didn't fully polish it. But anyway, to most people, at a first glance, it's uh, faultless. And I would say an extremely attractive razor I'm very fond of attractive things, and that's a beauty. Very, a very iconic, attractive razor. Anyway, this one is going to be a keeper, without any doubt at all. So again, thanks for watching my nonsense. 13 minutes, 27 seconds. Uh, comfortable shave. Disappointed by the uh, Maestro Living Loom Strop, the Travel Loom Strop, it's too small. You need to have a decent amount of stropping manoeuvre. Feel? Excellent. Yeah, I've got to say, that particular um, soap, which was a gift to me from a good friend, a young skater friend of mine, who you may have seen, Andre the Alien. So that I would recommend as being a very, very, very kind soap. It's a softening shaving cream. And it works. It works extremely well. If you want something more scented, um, I'm still extremely fond of the Cajun Blade Eric's soaps. They're just magnificent. However, that's for another day. So, am I going to put anything on? No, I'm not. Am I going to bother with the Allen block? No, I'm not. That was a perfect shave. Faultless, smooth. There's a lot to be said, obviously, for stainless steel. It can work huge amounts of stubble come off and i'm happy as larry so thanks for subscribing i'm doing more interesting stuff very very soon i've got another new custom razor to test very shortly from america on another day so i'll wish you uh, bon chance and i'll see you all soon guys thanks for watching